Hello, today I'll be showing you how to access Select to Screen from your Android device. First, get to your settings. Swiping down from the top is a good way to do that. Settings, and then you're going to want to look for the little guy with his arms out like a T. That's the accessibility menu. Click that. Scroll down. Select to speak is a blue icon with a little speaker in it. Click on that. From here, the first option is to turn the shortcut on or off. Right now it's off. I'm going to click it and it'll turn on. I prefer to use a button that's translucent on the screen at all times for easier accessibility, but you can also have it so that you can swipe up with a gesture to get it that way. After you do that, it comes up with a screen that wants to know if you're going to allow Select to Speak to have full control of your device, and the first option on the top is Allow. I'm going to touch that now. Then it's telling you how to use the button. I'm going to say that I understand how to use the button. That's the second option. Got it. Now we have it up. It's hard to see. It's translucent and you can change the translucency level and you can also change the tone of voice that they used to speak. Let's go somewhere and try it out. I'm going to go to Libby. Let's say we're in Libby and we want to find out what this particular audiobook that's available now is about. Click on it, go down to some text, then press your little accessibility button and you can just start and it will go from the top. Scroll to top. 12K. If you don't want to hear Model menus, Lady Violet Belmain is like busy sorting out the severe repairs to his Kent estate in hopes of embarking on the placid life of a rural physician. Alas, for Saint Sevier, the village of Saint Evo has more secrets than pause. it has. We can go back, and they will show you with a little green square what they're about to say. Somebody is rigging street. Ivo's hound races, setting neighbor against neighbor. And you can stop. And, and the whole thing goes away. I hope that's been helpful. Again, this is Select to Speak on Android phones. Hello. I'm going to show you how to access Speak Screen on your iOS device, which will allow you to have parts of the screen read to you. So this is a, an older iPad but it should work on any iOS device. I need to find your settings, the little gear. From there, on the left, a little bit down is accessibility. That is the blue background with the white human figure. Touch that. Then, spoken content is the fifth down. Black background, white bubble. Speak selection says a speak button will appear when you select text. That's useful. Let's turn that on. Speak screen. Swipe down with two fingers from the top of the screen to hear the contents of the screen. And they will read everything. Then you can also dictate how fast it is. This is going to be right in the middle. So that is normal speed. So now let's go to say the library web page. Main library web page venetialibrary.org and from the the front screen it is uh, ebooks is the second main one down so let's try that and we're on the ebooks audiobooks and more page. First let's try out selecting some text and having them read it. So we've got this part selected. 
highlight text, and then the fourth option from the left is speak. Ebooks, audiobooks, and a magazine's library to go Libby through Overdrive. Download ebooks and audiobooks to your computer here. You will need your library card number with no spaces. If you do not have a library card, get an e-card. If you're having trouble, visit the Overdrive help site. Okay, now you know about uh, e-books, which is how I pronounce it. And if you want to hear the whole screen, main wide search icon, toggle navigation, language translate widget, select language. They really do read everything, but you can fast forward and you can change the speed. Hope this helps.